what's up guys welcome to another video and today i guess what i'm gonna do is i guess just do a tour of all my tools got a few different stuff here i guess i will start with it's my let's see and this specific thing is the metabo hpt as you can tell and there we are. I bought this brand new for about eighty something dollars at Lowe's. Got my lubricant here, embossed it. Good stuff. You you really gotta have it. Highly recommend it. Yeah, put that back in. Uh, and here's the actual gun. Let's, see. Let's get this. Thing this gun. It's really good, as you can tell. It's an, I guess you'd say, 18 gauge Brad Mauer. I do use this for trim only, as you can tell. So it's a Brad Mauer, obviously. Highly recommend one of these guns. I mean, my dad's got a Boston gun. I don't really like Boston Child, I don't have a problem with it. But. I prefer Metabo. That's just me. That's just me, so let's see. Let's go ahead and get this put back, back in here. But like I said, guys, this is a really good gun. You will need an air compressor air compressor. Excuse me. And an air hose for that. I guess the second thing I'm gonna do is my tool bag. I will try to explain a little bit of what I have in here specifically. I guess we'll start with the bags first. Specific bags I have here. Oh, okay, so this is the CLC work gear. It's a custom leather craft. Very good tool bag. I love them. I bought this for like 30 something dollars, I think it was. This does not come with it. This comes with an older set of bags of mine. So I guess we'll start with this side of the pouch. I'm going to run down what's in it. This here is a Swanson speed clip. I don't know if you can see that very well. Swanson speed clip there, you just you can use it to clip on anything. But I just got it there for some reason. Next thing is my chalk line, which is an iron one. Because iron one's obviously really good. It's a great chalk box, highly recommend it. It is the best chalk line. You gotta have one of those. Second thing is my knife. It's not very good, but it gets the job done, you know, as you can tell. It's pretty old. I need to change it. I don't even think this has a specific brand, actually, so. But you gotta have one. Most people like Stanley, though. I don't have one. Next thing is my torpedo level, which is a Johnson. Which, this is not too old. I recently bought it. I usually build, use it for when I'm building shells and why not? Put that, put that over there. Get all that out of the way. And here's my nail puller. It's a Stanley. 10 inch. This thing is amazing, but it's also been beat up quite a lot. Oh, sorry. Quite a lot. As you can tell, it's been used. It ain't old either. I just, I don't know why it looks like that. It looks all rusty or something. I don't know. Uh, and here's the inside of this pouch. Uh, you probably can't see it, but it's really deep. It, it fits most of my hand and halfway up my wrist anyway, so that is a good thing. Um, another thing is it's solid leather, too. I mean, it's really soft leather. I mean, you can't really tell that, but it's soft leather. Uh, in this back pouch here, it's originally for the tape. And so that's all I keep in it. Sorry. I usually have see. I usually have my Milwaukee tape measure, which is in there. I don't have it out of here. Or it might be in that bag right there, I'm not sure. But this is what I guess I got in here right now. It's a 25 foot if you can't hardly really see that. These are amazing tape measures. I mean amazing. Absolutely amazing color. Here. 
It's so hard to do this one hand. Okay, and this is what the blade actually looks like, as you can tell. It's really good. And it does not have the measurements on it, obviously, because I know how to read tape. Uh, but that will fit just right down in there. Now, like I said, I usually carry a Milwaukee tape measure, 25 foot magnetic. But I typically think it's in that bag out right there, but we'll, we'll see. Next thing is in this big pouch here, let's we'll start with that, is my Swanson Speed Score. This is the newest finition that I have, which inside that bag, like I said, is over there. I do have a Johnson Speed Square. Now it's really good, but I highly recommend this or Johnson. The other ones, I don't know, I've never really used them. That's awesome. Okay, see, so, yeah. I don't have any fasteners or anything else in here, except my nail punch, which is, let's see, focus in, it's a craftsman. Definitely not what you want to use for trim. Yeah, as you can tell, that thing is huge. Huge tip. That thing's gigantic. And then usually I'll put that right there and then a pencil right there. Now right here is where I usually carry my hammer, which my hammer's typically in the house. But I can go get that. I guess I'll go over hammers in a later video, but that's technically just for going to be in this one. So, let's put the, all this stuff back up real quick. Give me a second, guys. Just bear with me here. It's hard to do all this crap one-handed. Okay. Okay, so that's, that's good and it's out of the way. Like I said, highly recommend a CLC. CLC work here. They have different ones, but this is just what I bought. I mean, I guess it's good for like a, I don't know, I guess beginners, you know, I, I guess you could say beginners, or a contractor, that's probably a good contractor bag. Uh, okay, let's start with, let's go with this bag. Now this, I don't know what model it is, but this is a DeWalt bag. It's got tons of pockets, tons of pockets as you can tell. It's got this really cool strap. Well, it's under the bag, but you can't see it, but you can tell. It's got hot handles here, both sides. It zips. As I said, there's all kinds of pockets. Now, I'm going to start with getting some of this out. Uh, and like I said, here's my Milwaukee, my Milwaukee tape measure. Magnetic, 25 foot. I'll take the clip off for it fit in my bag easier. But this is the best in the world. I can honestly say I like it better than stainless. Honestly, let me look at that a little. Okay, and here I will show you the blade, as you can tell from this magnet right there. Pretty cool. It's a fairly good tape. I mean, I love it more than stainless, to be honest with you. Like I said, that versus Stanley, I'd 100% I'd go with the Milwaukee. Best tape in the world. Okay, second of all, this is my roofing hammer. I know it probably ain't what you use for roofing, but doing asphalt shingles, this is what I use. I recently done a job with my dad and one of his guys he works with. We uh, laid a house, we laid a roof. It was just two of us, me and my dad. We'd done a roof in about oh, two and a half days, probably like three. And that's what I used. We don't have a gun, so we had to do it by hand. And I use this. It's a Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh Pro. 16 ounce. You can't see it's worn off. Pittsburgh. It's a really great hammer. I mean, it's got a fiberglass handle, you know, and all. It's really awesome. Though. I love this. Okay, we're going to lay that to the side over there. Next thing. Here's my Johnson Speed Square I showed you. Okay, let's compare this real quick. Hold on. Okay, this. 
Okay. So here's my Johnson. Get a good look at that. Then you got the Swanson. I think this is probably the coolest part. I, I'm not sure what this is for. I guess it's rafters or something. I don't know. Most of you guys out there are going to know about this stuff. I don't really know. I'm not a framer. I don't mainly do trim. But, uh, that and drywall. But anyway, that's those. I wanted to show you. Okay. And, uh, let me get my jab saw. This is for drywall. I mean, you can use it. You don't have to. It it says Ace. I don't know if you can see that. It says Ace. We bought it at the hardware. And we've used it a few times. We had the Graceland Tornado came through. Tore our house all the pieces. So we had to use this. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good, but I don't really use it. Um... Okay, this is a DeWalt headlamp. This is great for when you're doing trim and stuff. Especially when you get in dark corners, you know. You gotta, you need one of these. This is just good for all kinds of stuff. Not just carpentry in general, but yeah, DeWalt is totally, totally the best. So that's that. God, it's so cold down here. Okay. Now this is going to be a cheap off-brand, I guess you could say off-brand i'm not sure if that's off-brand but this is a stud finder typically for trim it's black and decker as you can tell i've used this thing ever since i got it actually there you go it's really nice you really need to have one of these especially if you do trim just a charging port for a battery which is Black and Decker. I got the wall today. It's just I don't have it. Here's the battery thing for Black and Decker. I got a knife here. This is a I guess you would say Olympia Tools. It's a lot better than that other knife I had. Uh, this I bought I believe in All Good nail puller. A lot different than the other one I had. There used to be rubber here, but I cut it off because it wouldn't fit in my tool bag. So, and I had to use this, as you might be able to see there. It's got a uh, asphalt all over it from the shingles, where it's hot up there. Melted. This stuff ain't no joke. Uh, other than that, I think that about do it for this bag. Just about, I'd say. Yeah. I think we're going to call it for this bag. Highly recommend you getting one of these. Like I said, it's DeWalt. Really good bags. And a Milwaukee tape measure. Make sure you have one of those. And make sure you have a, a Swanson or a Johnson Speed Square. Those are really good. Actually, and here's the Johnson too. So, if you want one of those. And this is going to be a pretty long video, I think, guys. So... I'm basically just showing off my tools, all I got. I've seen a bunch of guys doing it, so I was like, why not? And here is what I use for roofing and for doing trim. Uh, you can't see that one, but they're gel layered CLC, of course, because I love CLC. Now these are gel padded too, so they're really, really nice, really comfortable. But they don't really stay on because, you know, it's, I guess that's like Velcro or something. Those are really nice. You got definitely have to have a pair of those. I think you can get those at Lowe's too or any other place. They're around thirty something dollars. So, and here I'm going to do levels. Next is levels. Let's get this out of the way real quick. Now this one right here I'm going to show you first is my dad's. So. Of course, it's going to be a lot better, better. It is a Johnson. It's gorgeous. Like one of the best. Four, 48 inch. I guess you could say that's four foot. Four foot. So an amazing level. Never use it. 
this is my love. Yeah. As you can tell. Oh, yeah. I love Morgan Wallen, too. But this is my level. As you can tell, it says Ace because, of course, that's all I can hardly get right now. It used to belong to my dad, which this is my dad's, but this is mine now. So, two good levels. Highly recommend you get a Johnson. And, I guess, besides this beat up old mailbox right here. Besides that, I think that's going to do it. So we have the nail gun. Got the um, knee pads here. Got the DeWalt bag full of tools. And, of course, my tool bag. Now, one other thing I got to show you guys real quick. Hold on, just bear with me. Here is my DeWalt tool bag thing. Here's something, though, that you're really going to have. And here is my saw. It's a Delta chop saw, sort of like a miter saw. It's pretty good though, I love it. You really have to have one of these. Bossage. I think it's one gallon. Yeah, it's one gallon. You gotta have one of those guys. If you're gonna have nail guns and stuff, you gotta have them. I do not know where my dad's nail gun set of nail guns are, but they're bossage, as you can tell, because that's bossage. This is his uh, DeWalt set here. It's going to be a mess in here because he's got a lot of bolts and screws and nuts and all that bits. Oh, uh, yeah, look at that. They're 18 volt. That's the drill. Here is the impact charger. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> got the junky four wheeler over here. Bayou 220. It's actually really nice. But, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you want to. And, uh, hopefully, hopefully this video was just enjoyable. Hope you guys like it. Um, I don't have that many tools, you know, because I'm just starting out. I'm a beginner carpenter, you know. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, please. That'll help me out. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.